striking dramatic and action series, The Detective. Mike Waring, alias the Falcon, on my way home. A whole week of relaxation in New York. Then, fell back to shooting trouble for the government again. It was a great trip with some good company. But the night before we came into port, something happened that wasn't so good. You've made this trip seem very short, Mike. Well, that, that goes both ways. In spite of my arrival, George Mudd with them. Funny mustache. Oh, I don't like men who wax their mustaches. Good. I know, he's harmless, but an awful nuisance when two people want to be alone. See you when we dock in the morning. Go on. All right. Good night. Good night. why he didn't report it to the captain. Why? He didn't steal anything, and I can't identify him. Not at all? Only that it was a character with muscle. Say, I don't remember that stick. Uh, uh, hey, we're home. Look, as soon as the steward picks up the bags, we'll go to customs together, huh? Good. each other in New York. Well, that's not a hope, that's a certainty. How about dinner tonight? Well, I, that would be wonderful. Eight o'clock, where are you staying? Well, I'm not sure. We'd better make it your hotel in the lobby. Well, that's the Courtney Plaza. I'll be there at eight. Bye now. You said you were staying at the Courtney Plaza? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. I'll I... tell the others we'll be there tonight before uh, eight. Wait a minute. Wait, what others? What are you talking about there? Oh, look at me. On Fridays, he probably thinks he's Napoleon. I'm Judson. Well, I don't know that there's anything I can do about it. Pardon me if I don't laugh, but I don't find you very funny, Mr. Waring. Nor are you, Mr. Judson, so why don't you jump down to a Turkish bath and change your clothes? You wouldn't expect me to carry this around in my hand, would you? Mr., I didn't expect you, period. But you did expect this. There it is. And it's all there. Now listen to me. That's the first and the last. I'm sorry I didn't bring a gun. 
Next time I will. Hey, wait. Wait a minute. thousand bucks. This is Mr. Waring. I've just had a visitor. You've got to stop him before he leaves. He's a tall man wearing a brown suit and a black hat. He just left. Oh, no. Yes, I have thousands of reasons to believe he'll return. Thank you. I hope. So, I, I beg your pardon. I was expecting someone else. Burton will be here. I see that Judson's already paid you a visit. Are you? You know him? Of course. I'm Ann Marshall. Oh, well, that just explains everything right there. Mm-hmm. Including this. Well, I see you brought yours. Afraid? Well, a silly question deserves a silly answer, so under the circumstances, I'll just say yes. No, you're not worth it. You bet I'm not. Now, would you mind explaining who's been opening your cages lately? I've been running into nothing but lunatics ever since Be I last... Be quiet before I change my mind. Take it and shake hands with yourself. You're luckier than you know. Oh, no, not again. Look, Get I... Get back. You wouldn't want to press that luck now, would you? Look, miss, you're making a mistake. I Mr. don't want Mr. Waring, there's nothing you have to say that I care to hear. And don't poke your nose out of this door. I know how to use this. Hmm, welcome home. Come right in. Forget about the weapon. Although I thought of killing you, naturally. Naturally? However, your method of protecting yourself is very effective even if not very novel. So? You too? Oh, wait a minute. You're the nut at the customs house. Let's not call each other names, Mr. Waring. I'm sure I'd have all the best of it. Maybe. Maybe you've got the wrong man, Mr. Burton. These are your suitcases, aren't they? Yeah. Then I don't have the wrong man. Hold it, Junior. Hmm? You and I are going to have a little talk. Sit down. No. You're being dreadfully melodramatic. But I don't think you have any intention of using that gun. We're still going to have that little talk, whether you like it or not. Just as you say, Mr. Waring. I should have told you, I used to be middleweight champion. Princeton. Oh. Hello, desk. Captain Dan for that call. Cancel this call. Look, just throw the money on the bed, hit me, and get out. I'm too tired. To... Well, but isn't Mr. Mudd my shipboard rival? I certainly didn't expect to see you again. I can imagine. 
However, as you seem to have won Karen, it's only fair that I should at least have some compensation. That's uh, why I came to collect. Oh, you're the one that put the sticker on my bag. Mm, of course. That was for identification. It was all arranged by letter, you see. Oh, I see. Always the cautious blackmailer, eh? Well, to them, you're the blackmailer, Mr. Waring. And in a few minutes, I'm going to disappear from the face of the earth. So you will uh, probably have trouble proving that you're not. Yeah, that I can see. Don't worry about those three people. They really aren't very nice. Well, who is in this affair? You know, I, I will say this for you. You sure made me a perfect patsy. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Waring. You've been very helpful. Mud. Mud. No, it's no use. You better get out quick. The police were tipped you shot me from the mud in. Who was it that shot you, Mud? Who was it? Karen, I, I know it's after eight, but uh, wait a minute. Hold it. Look, Karen, I'm in trouble right up to my eyebrows, and I need your help. Go down to Joe Angel's pool room at 36th Street and 2nd Avenue. Tell him I'm hot. I'll meet you there in 20 minutes if I can get away. Yeah. The police must have caught Mike after all. Mike is pretty hard to catch. But you didn't ask what he did. Why the police are after him. If Mike wants me to know, he tells me. But if it's a crime, this will make you an accessory. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you must think an awful lot of Mike. Sure. You see this? And this? It happened ten years ago. A guy gets mad because I take his girl away. He gets a couple of friends, catches me in an alley. He cuts me here and here. And if Mike don't show up, next cut would have been here. Oh. <laughs> was a big fight. Mike gets cut, too. He has a scar as big as that right under his... Hold it. Forget about the geography. Mike! 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 Say, you're getting to be a regular chatterbox, aren't you, Joe? <laughs> Come on. Knock it off. I'd rather hug Karen. Mike, what happened? How'd you get away? Take it easy. I'll explain in a minute. First, I want to use the phone. Help yourself. Kennedy? Oh, my. Yeah. Yeah, I heard the report. I thought you were on a week's leave. So did I. But this thing came into my lap uninvited. Postal? Extortion by mail. The whole thing apparently started in Europe. The man who was killed at George Mudd was making his blackmail demands by letter. How much? 50,000 apiece? The local cops may think that even a government agent would go wrong for a $150,000 payoff. I know, I know. Why do you think I ducked out on the cops? It's obvious that the killer is one of the three blackmail victims. My only hope is to find them, and fast. Can do, Mike. But it'll take time. Look, man, time I don't have. If I can get one, I can get to the rest. My best lead is the woman. At least I have her full name, Ann Marshall. She's in her early 30s. You stick there. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, I'll see you. are all about. And she's there now. We've got the place staked out. Good. When do you want us to move in? You don't. And you can call off that stakeout. What? But... Uh, like you said, Kennedy, this one's my baby. I'm gonna play it alone. But, uh... Oh, all right, Mike. Ann 
Grand Marshal? Yes. Who's this? Bring Judson and Burton to Angel's pool room at the corner of 36th Street and 2nd Avenue if you want your blackmail evidence back. What? Wait, is this some joke? It's no joke, honey. If you want that evidence, you'll be there in an hour. Otherwise, that evidence goes to the police. You have the blackmail evidence? I thought... No, no, no. It was only a bluff. I wanted to get him down here to question them. But if one of them is the killer... The killer didn't get the evidence simply because George Mudd didn't have it on him. No, no. They'll all show up. They can't afford to pass up a chance to get their hands on the evidence and destroy it. Oh, I'm sorry. For a moment, I thought... Come on. Forget it. I know things have been a little mixed up tonight, but I'll try to make it up to you. Mike? Mm -hmm. I'm afraid this is going to be a long wait. Why don't I go out and get some coffee and sandwiches? It's a good idea. I'm sorry, honey. It's not exactly the kind of dinner I'd plan, but here. Oh, no, you better use the back door. There is an all-night cafe right around the corner. Well, it's just as well. She shouldn't be mixed up in this deal anyway. She likes you. Nice girl. She'll make a good wife. I think she'll make a good... Never mind, never mind. I've heard about your ideas before, Cupid. You just stayed... Marshal, this is Mr. Judson. You! Steady! Now you can't get away with this. Fight! Well, oh, that's funny. I thought you lost your gun, or is this another one? I don't know what you mean. Where's Burton? Parking the car. Let him go. Now, just go over and sit against that wall and start thinking about the fact that I've got an itch to shoot somebody just on general principles. You don't believe in guns, do you? Sorry, Princeton. Middleweight champion, OSS 43. Joe, give me a hand. We paid you the money. Look, let's get something straight. I'm not the blackmailer. I didn't write you those extortion notes. Until you came into my room and started dumping money in my lap, I never saw or heard of either one of you two. But the signal! You had the sticker on your bag. Sure I did. George Mudd planted it there to make me a perfect patsy. After you had paid off, he came in to collect. Only one of you already know that. The one who came to my room killed George Mudd and got the money. Oh, don't be crazy. I was at my club. A dozen people saw me. Find it friends for dinner right after I left you. Oh, yeah, sure. Well, in that case, that just leaves a sleeping beauty here. What was the blackmail about? Look, personally, I don't care what you did. But one of you have saddled me with a murder rap, so I want answers. Be sensible. We can't tell. You'd better change your mind. This gun has already killed one man tonight. Now, if I have to burn for it, I'm going to take you three with me. That way, I can be sure the killer didn't get away with his frame. <laughs> you wouldn't do that. Oh, wouldn't I? Uh, no, wait, uh, uh, don't. Uh, we were involved in a, a big deal, a, a, a big deal. It, millions involved in France. Uh, well, something went wrong, and we had to get rid of a man. Uh, we all did it together, and after we got rid of the body and finished the deal, we collected the money and then came back to the States, and, well, we thought we'd be free. But Mudd found out about it and started to write you extortion letters, is that right? But he dug up the evidence of the swindle, and we couldn't help meet his demands. Oh, no, 
No, they'll cover it. Ooh, there. Stop playing. You're no funny stuff, or you'll get hurt. <laughs> Did Joe do something wrong? Where is he, Joe? Who? You're looking for someone? Waring, Mike Waring. We got a tip. He's hiding here. Mad. I am Joe, remember? You and Sadie H. Nitzel with us last Sunday. And all of a sudden, you're you pointing guns at me. All and... right, Joe, all right. Maybe the tip was phony, but we've got to check. Look around. Right, man. It's no late to be playing pool, is it? Is that illegal? No, it just seems a little strange. And you're not exactly the pool playing type. At least not in a joint like this. Join, join, what kind of All right, hey, be quiet, Joe. We were slumming office. I thought it might be fun to play some pool. I'm sorry if it upset you. What's with him? <laughs> He's with us, but I'm afraid he was up rather late last night. Nothing in back? Hey, Joe, just a minute. What's going on around here? The front door's locked and the back door isn't. I was going to lock the door, but you came in and I forgot. <laughs> All right, let's go. Probably just some nut that called in. Oh, Joe, uh, Sadie wants that uh, recipe for the wiener schnitzel. Sure, sure. I'll tell Anna to write it down. Good night. Good night, Joe. minute in there and I, I'd feel like a sardine with all his relatives moved in. Hey, what's up? You all look as though my second head is showing. I see they came. Not only them. We just had a call from the police. The police? But how did just you... Just say I'm lucky. Very lucky. You two better go home. And stay there. I may have word about that evidence you're so worried about. As then, you might as well take him with you. wrong. They had every reason to keep that blackmailer alive. Mike, then who killed him? The same blackmailer's friend and accomplice. The only one who knew he was collecting the money. Karen. Me? But Mike, I... You shouldn't have tipped the police the second time, Karen. That had to be you. But Mike, I did Joe, not... why don't you call that cafe and see if she made a second call from there? Wait, Mike, please let me explain. Maybe I did make a telephone call, but... Hold it, Mike. It wouldn't have done you any good. You couldn't have proved anything anyway. I know. Not then. See, I have the murder gun with your fingerprints on it, honey. Oh, no. Let me go, Mike, please. We can share the money. I have it in the hotel. And the evidence? Yes, yes. We can make them pay a fortune to keep it quiet. Just you and I. Sorry, honey, you forget. There's a dead man between us. I'm afraid we'll have to give up that idea about raising a football team together. Joe. Better call Matt. Tell him. There's the report. You pick up Burton, Judson, and the Marshall woman? Uh-huh. They're a little mad at you. Particularly Burton. Well, I'm certainly not surprised. <laughs> well, this is complete. With the money and the evidence we found in Karen's room, our extortion case is airtight. For what good that'll do when the state pulls a switch on her, you can't prosecute dead people. It's too bad. She's a pretty one. Yeah. Well, anyway, you can get back to your vacation now. No, oh, no, not me. I'm reporting to Washington tomorrow. I've had enough of vacations. Well, so long, Kennedy. So long. Oh, uh, 
give my regards to the mailman, won't you? You've been waiting for...